Um, I'm recording this video today uh, regarding the um, NISG student body president and vice president elections here at UNI. We have three very qualified tickets running, and um, Maggie and I are just sitting here um, tonight looking at everyone's platforms and looking at some of the issues, and we're going to have a few questions, so I'm just going to pose them here and see if any of the tickets have any responses for us and we'll see what everyone comes up with. The first question we have is about the uh, amendment to the NISG constitution regarding its size. Um, we're, we know the kind of numbers game that it's playing, but we're kind of confused as to what exactly it means as far as representation goes. I've heard something about how the representatives, if NISG became smaller, would come from the colleges rather than the residence halls. And I was just wondering if anyone could kind of explain exactly what would be happening, um, if the residence halls would have any representatives, or if it's all by the colleges. We're just kind of unsure about how that's going to work out. With question for Dakota and Zach. Uh, you state on your platform that you have a goal of increasing credited internships 25% by 2012-2013. Um, first question, do you have information on how many uh, colleges and programs do credited internships right now? Because I I really have no idea. And also, how exactly are you planning on uh, increasing the internships, the credited internships? I'm just wondering because it sounds like a really good idea, but I'm wondering how it would work. And also, uh, we really are liking your uh, some of your academic ideas, such as the freshman pass slash no record option. Um, Maggie was just saying that one of her classes freshman year, because she was a deciding major, she would have really liked to have just been able to have it not on her record because she knew that that wasn't something that she liked soon after starting the class, but she ended up with a W on her transcript from dropping it. And we really like your idea of doing professor evaluations online because we think it kind of wastes class time and it wastes the other professors' times because the professors have to come and do evaluations for other professors, so we really like those ideas. My first question for Spencer and Ian's campaign is regarding their promised visits to student organizations. I think it's a great idea that you're going to go and visit organizations during your term in office, but I was wondering if um, you're going to have a way of measuring whether you have served the student organization better since you visit during campaign season, or if you're going to do anything to kind of measure what you're doing as far as the student organizations go. Um, I should probably just mention really quick that I don't have as many questions for Spencer and Ian on their platform because I am working with their campaign, so I've already had a lot of them answered, um, just so it doesn't seem like I'm asking the other two tickets a lot of questions and not asking Spencer and Ian any. Um, some things I like really like about Spencer and Ian's platform right now are the Panther Points idea. Uh, I'm really glad that you've already been talking to a lot of people about this and have gotten a few people on board with the idea. And I just think it's great because a lot of people have that Panther Pride and want to spread it to others, and it would make it a lot easier to convince more people to come to events if they got a reward like dining dollars or a free t-shirt or something out of the deal. We're also big fans of the big weekend events idea. Um, I know personally I hardly ever want to go home on weekends because I feel like I'm going to miss something here with my group of friends and the things that we like to do on campus. And I think that a lot more students would feel that way as well if we publicized a few really big awesome weekend events that were maybe collaborations and then once we got them to stay on campus for a few weekends, they'd probably realize how exciting it really is around here, even on the weekends, and want to stay around more. Another idea that we really like is Spencer's column for the Northern Iowan. Uh, my high school's uh, student body president did something similar in our high school newspaper, and it was always really neat just to see that the our student body president realized what issues were going through the student body and what things that we were concerned about and that they were really addressing those concerns as we had them. So it was kind of a real-time affirmation of what they were doing for us. I think it's a really great idea to get NISG more involved in collaborating with other student organizations and helping them a little bit more because right now 
MSG just kind of seems like this big mysterious body where people go into the room for the meetings and then they come out however many hours later and no one really knows what goes on in there and the organizations I don't think really feel like NISG is there to help them and I believe that NISG is there to help them and so them reaching out a little bit more would be really exciting to see. Uh, another thing that we really love about your campaign is that um, you're going to fight to have service on our transcripts. I am involved in a ton of student organizations from HSAB to Campbell Hall Senate to um, participating in other things and it takes up a lot of my time and I would really like that to be reflected on my transcript so that potential employers could see that I wasn't just sitting in a room studying all the time to get the GPA that I have but I was actually out being involved interacting with other people and doing a lot of other things besides just my academics while I was at school. The first question I have for Rhonda and Adam's campaign about their platform is about the 24-hour uh, study option in Mocker Union for finals week. Well, that sounds like a really good option. I know a lot of students like to study there. Um, I believe that that would also probably require a 24-hour staff for some of the locations in the union and that would be when those staff members are also preparing for finals so I don't know how that would work out or how you were planning to address that because I think that that would add a lot of stress to those students lives. Um, my other question is about the increased cell phone coverage in the union. Um, how are you planning on working that out? I think that I feel like that would involve a lot of collaboration with many different cell phone providers and probably it cost a lot of money because you would have to put in a new tower or something but maybe there's some strategy or something that I don't know about that you guys were considering so I'd just like a little bit more information about that. really like your idea to reinstate SUNY days. It sounds like that was a lot of fun when it happened here but I am a little concerned about it being compared to Visha because Visha has a huge reputation for just being a party weekend where people drink all the time and I don't think that's a reputation we want to get for our university so I'm wondering how you're going to ensure that it doesn't turn into a kind of reputation like that. I also really like your ideas to partner with the Center for Multicultural Education to increase diversity awareness among our students. Um, my group's Presidential Scholar Project for this semester is partnering with the CME and we're really excited about getting students more aware of some cultural restaurants and shops in the Cedar Valley area. So it would be really cool to have your ticket kind of further some of the work that we're starting to get more students aware of the CME's mission. We like your idea of creating a director of volunteerism, but we were wondering if maybe you could do some sort of partnership with the Student Leadership Center. I know that they've been pushing volunteerism a lot this year, and maybe that could be an opportunity for NISG to really partner with some other organizations and maybe like create the new position to have them work with that center or to have maybe someone from that center working with NISG in that sort of position. Another thing that we really like about your platform is that you plan to include information on starting a new student organization in transfer and freshman orientations. I think that would be really good information for students to have when they first come to UNI so that right away if something for their interest it doesn't already exist they know how to start it and they have the power to become involved. Those are our questions and concerns for now. I'll probably be making another one of these maybe next week or so. Um, I look forward to your answers to these questions and to seeing all of you around campus some more.